So let's look at this exam type question. Here they ask us to draw a sketch of the um, Px equal to Ax squared plus Bx plus C. From the following information, they give us B over 2A is equal to negative 4. They give us the range and they give us information regarding the roots. Okay. Now, first of all, um, let's start with the information. They begin with B over 2A. B over 2A is actually the formula for the symmetry axis. Okay. The only problem is we need a negative. So we need to multiply both sides of this equation with a negative so that we can have the symmetry axis. If we do that, it used to be negative 4, but if we multiply it with a negative, it will become positive 4. So that our symmetry axis is equal to x is equal to 4. The next thing they give us is the range of the function. Now what we need to remember is that a parabola or a quadratic function can look like this or like that. In the smiling or the valley shape, we have a lowest point in the valley, which means that y will always be, the output will always be bigger than or equal to that lowest point. In the mountain shape or the frowning uh, parabola, we have a maximum value, a highest point, which means my output will always be smaller or equal to that highest value. So from this one, after that, everything goes up. So y is greater than or equal to that. And in this mountain shape, the one after that, everything starts going downwards from there. So it's lower than or equal to. We have a greater than or equal to negative 4. In other words, we have this shape, which means that our lowest point is negative 4. I don't have space there to write it. Negative 4. Okay, and then finally, they tell us that the roots of the function differ by 8. Well, what does that mean? Well, if I were to draw this graph that looks like this, I know that it's center line, that's where x is equal to 4. Okay, and we know that the lowest value is negative 4. And now what it tells me is that when px is equal to 0, px is my output or my y value, my y value is 0 when I cut the x axis. So the roots are where I cut the x-axis and I see I've got two roots and according to this information my roots are eight units apart from each other which means it's four units on the one side one two three four and four units on the other side of the symmetry axis which means if I started at four I'll end at eight and the other one will be at zero so there I have my information to go and draw my graph. Let's go and put it together on the website. So let's just be careful to read our question because the question also asks me to draw in the symmetry line and indicate all the axis intercepts with a dot. So let's start by drawing in the symmetry line. So I select the line. My symmetry line is when x is equal to 4. So at 4 and draw a symmetry line which is always a vertical line upwards and next I must draw my parabola so when I do my parabola make sure that you select it and we start by drawing the vertex or the turning point the turning point is on the symmetry axis when y is equal to negative 4 so on the symmetry axis y is equal to negative 4 and then we can place it anywhere um, on the x-axis the next point now that's not the correct answer. Our um, roots must be 8 units apart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's only 6 units apart. If I take it further apart now, they cut exactly where I want them to cut. One cuts at 8, and the other one intersects in the origin at 0. So we must just finally put down our dots, and then we can test if we're correct. Perfect, we got full marks. Now go and try it on your own.